started with uh, Monica Ali's uh, controversial novel published in 2003, um, Brick Lane, and um, I was quite, quite interested, became quite interested in the main character in that novel and her relationship with this money lender. Um, and um, I was sort of quite interested as well about the fact that they were both um, Bangladeshi characters living in London. Um, and uh, was, was thinking as well at the same time um, about uh, the kind of economic narratives around microcredits in, um, in Bangladesh and whether they might also inform um, that relationship between the moneylender and uh, the main character um, in this novel. So I, I went away and did some research on um, uh, the Grameen Bank which started in Bangladesh and became quite interested in the founder of the Grameen Bank, Mohammed Yunus, and the kinds of stories that he, as a, as a banker, was telling about uh, Bangladesh, poor Bangladeshi women and how, they, um, how their lives were transformed by, by, these, uh, by, loans, by loans. So I was identifying parallels um, between um, the narratives that this banker was, uh, was uh, reporting about, about Bangladeshi women who, uh, whose lives were transformed by um, credit, in effect, and um, the character in this novel. Um, and I think that the, the exchange between this, um, this character and the moneylender, I think, shed quite interesting light on some of the problems okay, with, with microcredit. The current state of my research is that I'm um, moving away from focusing on the Grameen Bank to look at, uh, to begin to look at uh, other microcredit organisations. I'm um, also sort of interested in uh, in looking at uh, ways in which uh, Mohammed's, where Mohammed Yunus is right now um, in his career, um, and uh, some of the literature um, in political economy which has sort of criticized um, microcredit. Some of the literature that's coming out of anthropology and political economy, which I think is very exciting. Well, as a literary scholar, I'm, I'm working kind of speculatively. Um, so I, I expect what I'm actually going to do is to, is to kind of go backwards and look at the, at the colonial origins of, of, of microcredit to um, think about uh, the way, the, the reasons why microcredit came about in the context of South Asia.